And here in Sheikh Jarrah, about an hour ago, we saw uh, something which happens a lot too at the moment. That is a, um, a, uh, a water cannon, but it's not of the type that you might see uh, in Europe or, or America. Uh, because it's got stunk, uh, skunk water in, which is, uh, has a rancid smell, takes days to get off your, your skin. Uh, and um, what it does is it, um, they spray it uh, ostensibly for crowd control. But, but I can tell you, because I was here and I saw it with my eyes, they were not controlling a crowd that needed to be controlled. They were controlling a small group of youngsters uh, who posed no threat to them, and yet they fired the water cannon uh, into a Palestinian community and all over Palestinian houses. The Palestinians and uh, human rights groups say this is effectively a form of collective punishment. And lastly, uh, uh, down at the Damascus Gate a little bit earlier on, as part of this mass movement of, um, uh, of Palestinians, uh, uh, expressing their views uh, a group of palestinians were walking out of the damascus gate of the old city and up the steps there uh, and then without any warning the israeli police threw stun grenades and everyone everyone fleed again uh, unnecessary crowd control we've put this to the israeli police we've asked them why they're doing this sort of thing uh, and they say where they uh, where they make mistakes they investigate but you know uh, i've worked here for quite some time uh, and i can tell you that when you ask the israelis for investigation they say they're doing one but you never actually get the results uh, those are the facts that's what's happening here on the ground. Um, we do ask the Israelis for a response. They say they'll give it. Uh, often it doesn't come.